materials for uh, the rest of the ambient occlusion for the objects in the scene. Uh, you can see like right here we've got this darkness around the, the uh, on the ground where the box is near it and if we move the box you can see right under where the box was you know it's very dark um, and you can see the ambient occlusion in here kind of um, but if we were to render the scene now you wouldn't see the ambient occlusion um, because we haven't told Blender to um, to apply that as a material. So, but the first thing we're going to do is actually is turn the ambient occlusion off in the world settings because we don't need that anymore. Um, then go over to your material settings, and uh, I'm going to do the cube first. So add a new texture, image texture, and then select cube AO texture and set the coordinates to UV and the layer to cube AO and then down here set the blend mode to multiply um, and if we render it then you should see that let's see Huh, I wonder why everything else is dark. Oh well. Um, but you can see the ambient occlusion in here. Um, under under here. It's um it's darker under here. And um, once it renders the top, you can see in under the spheres, it's darker where they're closer to the uh, cube. So, um that's pretty much how you do it. Um, I'm not going to really show you how to apply it to the rest of the objects because um, I'm trying to keep this tutorial short. So um, I will pause it once more time and when I come back I will have the uh, final render for you. And if you have any questions please leave them in the comments section below. Uh, that's all. I'll be right back. Alright, um, so I'm back. Here's the final render. Um, and you can see, you know, here's some ambient occlusion under here. And there's some right here. And under the star, especially. Um, so this is a really nice, fast way. It only took me three minutes to render this. Um, and that's probably mostly because my computer's really slow, and partly because I had a ray tracing reflection in my scene. But, um, you can see this is a really nice and fast way to render um, your ambient occlusion out ahead of time so that you can still tweak materials without having your render times being extraordinarily long. Um, that's all I have for you now. Um, so until the next tutorial, 